My name is Stephen Klein. I'm an assistant professor of political science at the University of Florida, uh, and I focus on political theory and democratic theory there. I'm a uh, Daimler Fellow here at the American Academy, and during my time at the American Academy, I'm going to be working on a new book project that essentially asks the question, how is debt transforming democracy? So I'm interested in how both uh, the rise of public debt is altering the behavior and activities of states on the large scale, but also how the rise of consumer debt, credit card debt, and housing debt is changing what it means to be a democratic citizen in modern societies. So what does it mean that uh, before you even go to university, your, your parents are already thinking about your credit rating, getting you a credit card? What does it mean that uh, as an individual, say your economic well-being now is so tied to owning a house and uh, access to, to mortgage? And so on the one hand, people's lives and the way they interact with the economy is being shifted towards debt. But this also means that when things like the 2008 financial crisis occurs, that affects a, a much larger range of, of individuals throughout society. And so part of what inspired this project was watching the af aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis and the Eurozone crisis and seeing how the fate of our political communities is increasingly bound up with the structure of financial markets and the way that debt is distributed. And so I think we, uh, as a society, increasingly need to figure out what sort of principles are going to guide how we make decisions about what central banks ought to do, how people should access uh, uh, financial markets. And we need to think more about how to apply certain democratic principles that we might really value to these institutions where we don't currently think they're important.